And here we go again. <laughs> Ay, Dios mío, with Dior. Oh my gosh. Uh, they reformulated their lipsticks. And they have now 68 different shades between velvets and satin finishes. So they got rid of the matte finish and they just decided to keep it a velvet. They also up to right now because we never know with your they maybe start getting more matte finishes which i doubt because they do have another matte formulation both on liquid formula as well as bullet formula that they are transfer proof so i think this perhaps will be it for dior or we hope so <laughs> and then they also do not have any more that metallic finish they are calling either satin whether they have a slight little bit of uh, metallic finish or not and then the velvet formula which is basically kind of like a soft matte finish and you thought i was gonna buy the 68 shades no <laughs> I did not. And by the way, this video is not sponsored by Dior. In a way, I wish because if it was sponsored by Dior, I could have asked, hey, can you send me all the lipstick shades? But that's not the case. And talking about case, the casing is different. These are the old lipsticks from Dior and these are the new ones. So as you can tell, I mean, the look are very much alike in terms that you have the CD logo right here. But on the old formula, you have this band around. Well, this one looks a little bit more sleek per se. Also on the old bullet, you have the CD logo on the very top. While this one has more of like a mirror top that resembles a little bit more of part of that ganache kind of print from Dior very much. I mean, on brand for the house. Now the old formulation, you were able to just take this off at a click, but the new formula is also magnetic and they are still refillable. I say it's still refillable because the older formula, which is not true older, I mean, like they have gone through so many reformulations. So let's see if they are able to perfect that. Also with a new formulation, they claim that is even more hydrating, more durable, but because they double up on the floral ingredients, you will receive more hydration. Through the peony extract, which is a key ingredient from this Lixi formulation, again, double the dose. Pomegranate flower that it will bring more suppleness and softness to your lips, making them appear smoother shea butter we all know it is protective is nourishing and makes of the leaves even look more smoother now let's go into the swatches and then i let you know my thoughts and comparisons between the new and the old formulation starting first with rouge dior 2020 beige couture in that velvet finish And by the way, if you're new here to my channel, welcome, welcome to all of you, my beautiful friends. I do film in natural light with a 4K camera. It is a nice day right now. It look a little bit more foggy in the morning, but right now it's really nice. I will be leaving all the details of my makeup, the products that I'm showcasing today. Everything will be on the description box below, along with the links for your convenience. There you have it. Beige Couture Velvet Formula, shade 220. This shade has a little bit of a pinkier undertone. One thing that I think I didn't show to you, all the lipsticks, they do have the Dior logo embossed on the bullet. And in terms of the scent, the scent is still the same, but not as pronounced, not as heavy as it used to be before, which I'm happy to report. Let me show you the refills. You just pull it up and there you have it. And then you can just push it back in and your refill is ready to use. An iconic shade for the brand Nude Look 100 in the satin finish. This shade is warmer in tone in comparison to Beige Couture that it has a cool pinky undertone. Four hundred twenty-nine rose blues in the velvet finish. Do you see what I'm doing? <laughs> First a velvet, then a satin, then a velvet again. And this shade is just stunning. What a gorgeous, classic, beautiful shade. I cannot wait to put it on my lips. Mm, what a stunning shade! I mean, this is 
a classic for a reason so beautiful it's a true rose tone that doesn't link mold it's even neutral perhaps with just a touch of coolness but wow what a lady kind of shade gorgeous 976 daisy plum in the satin finish look at this i know it's a satin but i see a little bit of a more of a wine tone but look at this it's not super metallic do you see what i mean it still remains satin let's try it Wow, this shade is gorgeous. Now we're talking. This shade is not metallic, it is pearlized. It's beautiful, it's sophisticated. It's just, look at this, wow. Simply wow. This lipstick reformulation from Dior it's way superior than the previous formulas both on the velvet and the satin finish the velvets are even more comfortable than the previous ones although the previous ones were great but i feel that these ones are way way better both formulations satin and velvets are very thin but they do carry even pigmentation another thing the velvets are non-drying the satins they look wonderful they don't look like you know sometimes certain satin finish lipsticks they can become at times a little bit too moisturizing a little bit just too heavy on the lips these are not these are sophistication to the max and one thing that i'm so happy and this is perhaps one of my best kept secrets the scent used for the dior lipsticks is one that i have never enjoyed I wear your lipsticks because I like them, but you know, upon application, I have to be like, oh my gosh, okay, I hope this scent goes away this time around. Yes, the scent is there, but not as strong as previously. And that, oh my gosh, makes me super happy. I will be also leaving as a pink comment, how long do they wear, how they fade, if they dry the lips or not. I will be leaving those details on, again, on a pink comment. So while you're leaving your comment, make sure you read my pink comment. I wanna give you also an update on the new Dior lip liners. Truly love them they do last throughout the day they are very moisturizing they are very creamy you know what they remind me a little bit to the new chanel ones but i think these ones perhaps they are a little bit better a little bit easier to glide they kind of reminds me to perhaps a little bit to the natasha denona or the victoria beckham beauty lip liners really really good lip liners very happy with the reformulation of these lip products from dior and now my friends i would love to hear from you have you tried any of these new formulas from dior if you have been curious also on dior's spring 2024 makeup collection or the new eyeshadow queen in mimi rose the new new look perfume and all the new products from dior Dior. I do have already videos right here. But anyhow, my friends, let's continue that conversation on the comment section down below while you're at it. And if you haven't done so yet, I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring the post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also share with family and friends. If you're on Instagram and TikTok, come and follow me there. And if you're not done watching my content, I will be leaving a couple other videos at the end of the screen that I'm sure you're going to enjoy. Until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.